Welcome back to Crafted Entrepreneur. I am talking today about what I would do if I only had a thousand dollars in my bank account. Okay, it's going to be a juicy episode. But first, before we get into that, uh, I got to tell you, the students that are going through our new life coaching program called Crafted Entrepreneur Coaching are having some amazing results. It is so helpful to have somebody that is completely unbiased to you, okay? Point out your blind spots, help you see what you can't see because you're working too close in your business, so they could help point out your blind spots so you could work on them so you can move through things a lot quicker. Okay, coaching absolutely transformed my life. Remember, I hired my first coach and he was like, Kayla, you're doing it all wrong. You're working way too hard. <laughs> and at that point, I was making a lot of money, but I was doing it like just in not a smart way. And so when I started to have somebody listen into why I was doing what I was doing, he helped me make more sense of uh, better ways and routes to make money. And that's when I created Mommy Millionaire. And if you've been listening to this podcast for any time, you've seen the evolution of it. You've seen how many lives have transformed through the different coaching methods that I've created and the different coaching programs. And so imagine what can happen for you when you have that type of support, especially in a crafted entrepreneur coach. So go to kaylacraft.com forward slash coach to check it all out. Now, what would I do if I had only $1,000 to my name right now? What would you do is better. <laughs> what would you do is a better question. What would you do? A lot of people would go into <gasps> hoard mode, hoarder, hoarder, hold on to that last $1,000 with everything you got. Listen, if you only have $1,000 in the bank, you really have nothing to lose. So I would say invest it in yourself. If your business is stuck and you're like, gosh, I'm not making any money, what do I do with my last thousand dollars? I would be extremely calculated in investing that back into either learning something that makes me more valuable, okay? If I already know what I got is amazing, but I'm just really stuck on being able to market it effectively, I would spread out that thousand dollars that I have and find different marketing techniques to deploy in order to get my offer in front of more people. That's what I would do with my last $1,000. I wouldn't go and put it in a rainy day savings account. I would go all in on me. And you know what's free these days is social media. Last time I checked, making reels, making TikToks, posting on LinkedIn. This is all free marketing for you guys. You have to create a very clear content strategy and have very clear messaging to your ideal client and making sure your offer is landing with them. If, if your offer is getting in front of a thousand eyeballs a day, okay, so a lot of you guys listening in have at least a thousand people either watching your reel or watching your stories, okay, a thousand people and not one of them is taking advantage of the offer that you have created, I would say that you do not have a good offer and you need to go back to the drawing table. And this is something I want you to understand. This is something that that thousand dollars that you have to your name cannot fix, okay? You have got to get resourceful and creative and really understand what your ideal client is struggling with and exactly how you help them and create clear messaging that portrays that you have the answer to what they are struggling with right now, okay? So a lot of people right now, there's all sorts of problems that people are having. You have to find a unique way to share your solution with the world. What is your blue ocean? If you haven't read that book, I highly recommend you read that blue ocean strategy. The blue ocean strategy is like, okay, let's say there's 10 different fashion brands, Okay, and you would say that's a red ocean. Um, it's like the Mervins, the Macy's, the Gottschalks. I don't know. I'm just thinking about department stores from back in my day. Okay, well, I don't think there's any difference in any of those department stores. They all sell the same kind of kinds of stuff. You're going to find the same kinds of brands at these department stores. Okay, and the way that I'm choosing to go into them is whatever one had parking in front of it. Okay, <laughs> but for you online. 
you've got to think about why does somebody want to park in your parking lot to go into your store and buy the things that you have? It's going to be because of the way that you make them feel. Okay, making people feel something is free. I want to reiterate that. There are so many free ways to make money online. So people will buy from you when they feel confident that you are the person for the job. How do you become confident? Buy your story every single day. Know who you are. And when I say who you are, it's not about what you do, right? It's not about what you offer. It's about who you are being if you were not even getting paid for it. Kind, generous, funny, uh, entertaining, friendly. There's all these characteristics that you might hold that make you who you are. How do you translate that onto a piece of content, whether it's a reel or a TikTok or a carousel post that you're making on social media? You've got to give people a feeling. And if you're not good with words, then you better get, (laughs) you better find a way to display your messaging through music that you use, colors that you use on your post. There's a ton of faceless accounts out there right now that are making people feel hopeful in some type of way by literally you're watching people stir coffee. And I, I watch it and I'm like, oh, that looks so pretty. Like I want to I want to pick this right now. I want to like listen to what this person has to say. I go to the account and it's not even a person. It's a faceless account. I'm like, oh my gosh, they duped me here. But obviously it's working and these people are making money. So if it can work for them, it can work for you too. Remember, you got to make people feel some type of way. I'm going back to my analogy of, of the Gottschalks, Mervins, and the Macy's, right? When you make people feel a certain type of way on your page, then they want to click on your stories to see what it is you have to buy or what you have to offer them that day. You want to make sure you have an offer, have an invitation for them in your stories. And then let's say you find the offer that works and people are starting to pick up on it. Then you have proof of concept that people are willing to pay you money for something, whether it's a service or a product. And you find from those people who have bought, find out from them, ask them, what made you purchase from me? What were you hoping to get out of this? Get the words right out of their mouth, okay? And then use those words to create more content to entice more people to look at the stuff that you have to offer. And you can use that $1,000 to do paid ads, okay? You can use that $1,000 to collaborate, go on somebody's podcast that has your ideal audience. Yes, you might have to pay to go on that podcast, but it might be worth it for you to do that. I know for me, I'm actually in the moment right now of contemplating going on somebody's podcast and it's going to cost me $7,000 to go on this person's podcast. And in one hand, I'm like, gosh, it's going to be good exposure. Those potentially good could be people that will buy the books. And then on the other hand over here, I'm like, oh, it feels so like if God's going to do something with the book, I'm not going to need to buy, you know, my spot on somebody's podcast. And I'm literally having this conversation right now. So I want you to hear it. And I still haven't made my decision here, but you have to go and say, okay, if I give up that $1,000 right now, my last $1,000, how quickly can I recoup that? How can I 10X that $1,000? And you want to look at all of your options that you have and say, okay, this is the best option. After weighing out all the options, you're going to take a calculated risk and say, this is the best one. Or you might go, I want to divide it up into three different strategies. I'm going to try all three of these. And I don't recommend that one because I feel like it's, you're going to get more bang for your buck by going all in on one thing. And if you've really calculated the risk, you're going to find which one is going to produce the most results. And you go all in on that strategy. So It might be a little different than what most people will tell you to do with that $1,000. I think a lot of financial gurus will say, put it in the stock market, uh, put it in a rainy day savings account, put it into a high yield savings account. Me, you are your biggest asset. So invest in you, bet on you all day long. And when you weigh the options out and you say, okay, what I know about business is I need to get my offer in front of more eyeballs. So I'm going to choose the one that has the right eyeballs that are paying attention to what I have to say. And in this day and age, 
podcasting is huge. Your ideal people who will actually buy products are listening to podcasts. Think about this right now. You're listening into my podcast. If you haven't bought anything from me yet, go to kaylacraft.com forward slash coach. Check out my coaching programs because it's only a matter of time before you let me help you in that way. But you're, you're somebody that's looking for growth. You're committed to going to that next level of you. And so if you have the opportunity to go on people's podcasts, and sometimes you can even get these these opportunities for free if you have another value add to give. Let's say you have a podcaster that you know has your ideal audience. How can you help them in some way, you know, without having to pay them any money? There's always a way to be resourceful. You have to get in the mindset of always knowing everything is working out for you. There's always a way to get what you want and everything is happening for you. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think in the comments below.